And I've come to realize that we are highly reactive rather than proactive as a country relative to our place in the rest of the world. And I fear that we may have to sink a little lower in our sort of scientific prowess before everyone wakes up and realizes we're not on the right track, yet other countries are. Okay. And because uh, you and I, we're same age-ish, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we lived the second half of the 20th century with the United States leading in practically every metric in yeah. science and technology. Yeah. And I, I just got very accustomed to that, frankly. Yeah. yeah. And I'd like to see that continue. Yeah. And, and it's been overtaken by a lot of countries, a lot of Asian countries in particular. Um, let, let me, this brings me neatly actually to another part of that Bill Maher interview, which I really enjoyed. Love watching you on Bill Maher. Um, but you had a little uh, exchange, disagreement about this very hot potato issue about the science of trans athletes in women's sport. Let's take a look. Engage with the idea here. What I'm asking is Scientific American is saying, basically that the reason why an NBA WNBA team can't beat the Lakers is because of societal bias. What you're saying is not Scientific American says that. An editor for Scientific American says that who no longer has the job. So don't <laughs> indict a 170-year-old magazine because somebody Okay, this is goes, called Scientific somebody, American well, and they're printing something Because that's someone enters the cesspool that is social media and then participates this in is, that exchange. 